4.21 a.m. I'm finally laying down. I'm about to try and go to sleep now. And this is usually around when I fall asleep. Sometimes a couple hours earlier. Sometimes a little bit later. Uh, just want to let you guys know so far in this taper I have been able to sleep a good six, seven hours a night which is good, it's a good sign, and uh, it's not always the same time, like last night I didn't fall asleep till 7 a.m., but I still slept, I think six, maybe seven hours, uh, <clears throat> tomorrow's Thursday, and I, uh, I go to work with my mom on Thursdays, help her out with the job, just for a little extra money, I'm on disability, and they took about 90%, 80% of it when uh, when I got married because of my wife's income. So I literally only get 200 and some dollars a month right now. You know, got to love Social Security. But, oh uh, yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow's going to go well. Like I said, I do the job thing with my mom, cleaning the house of a friend we know. And then uh, nighttime there's a church group I go to. It's actually for recovery, this guy. He's a real good guy. He's been doing it for years. It's called YOU, Youth Overcomers United. I go with my, one of my best childhood friends. I'm thankful for him. Uh, one of the only friends that's real close to me, completely understands me, completely gets what I go through. He has some really severe mental issues and things he's gone through. I'm not going to say what, you know, it's personal. but So I'm going to probably... Do a little bit of vlogging tomorrow on my way, maybe to work, uh, see how I feel, just to let you guys know how it's going, and then probably tomorrow night, let you know how my day went, uh, if I got any symptoms, I gotta be honest, and, and I wanna tell you guys this, to give you hope, and this is one of the main reasons I have hope so far in this taper, I mean, I know it's only the first stage. It's only the first 10% that I went down, but it's been pretty smooth so far. I mean, yeah, I have I have my uh, anxiety off and on, but it's not as bad as I expected it to be. So, uh, like I said before, the, the 24th of March is my next drop in dosage, so I'm going to continue to do this and let you guys know the change and uh if I get more symptoms and how it goes when I drop down a dosage I'm a little nervous about it but I'm, I'm still ready I'm ready I'm ready for that day to be here and then I'll only be at half of a 0.5 milligram quantipin and then you know you know how it goes then another 10 percent and then I'll be off and the last time I got completely off. I had a window that was amazing. Like, I thought I was better. It was pretty early on. And I remember telling everyone how excited I was. Like, yo, I don't have to take benzos no more. And I feel great. And then, then I just started getting hit with the crazy panic attacks, night terrors, waking me up. So that's when I started to microdose. But I don't want to make this too long. I'm just letting you guys know. It's, all, it's around... 420 something hopefully I'll fall asleep within the next half an hour it usually takes me a while and I really don't like taking stuff for sleep sometimes I will take Benadryl uh, but I don't like it because it, it makes me feel like crap the whole next day and it, it even gives me some anxiety for like the first hour and it takes at least an hour to kick in but I'm going to just try to go to sleep naturally I'm going to put on some uh, meditation or yeah, some meditation, breathing type stuff. There's a couple videos on YouTube if you guys ever want were interested that are uh, like a benzo withdraw healing meditation. It's not bad actually. There's a couple good ones. Sometimes they help me sleep. Sometimes they don't. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. So what's up, guys? Uh, headed out. Later tonight, we headed to group with my cousin, best friend I was talking about as well. 
Sorry if the steering wheel is in the way. That's just where I have the camera set up. But, uh, I didn't fall right asleep last night. It took me uh, over an hour to fall asleep. Uh, just couldn't get my mind to be calm, even listening to the meditation and whatnot. I finally ended up listening to the sleep hypnosis video, which uh, I think probably did help me sleep. If I put that one on, I fall asleep pretty fast. And this time I heard way more of it than I even knew it there. But I woke up feeling like shit today. Um, I guess that's pretty normal. That's every day. Until uh, I take my first dose, I can get the medicine in my system and whatnot. I'm very easily irritated and very easily irritated, aggravated in the morning. Uh, my wife, just, it's hard for her. She, she gets an attitude that I don't even think she realizes. And it, it drives me crazy. And once that happens, it's like, I cut myself off from you once you treat me like that. And that's, I think that's why it's so important for family members to understand what to and around all the time to understand what we go through and even if this sounds crazy to try and like walk on eggshells for us until we get better because even like taking offense to a mood swing we have while we're going through this is I don't know it's like getting offended by a unicorn trying to knock your door down it's something that's not really relevant or real this isn't who we are you know I don't even know who I am it's been so many years I can't wait to meet myself again at the end of this road whenever that may be uh, one of the biggest things I think is to get advocacy for this to our family members people we're forced to be close to spouses especially boyfriends girlfriends partners in life uh, my mom gets it she supports me I look forward to being around her every time uh, I have friends that get it some people just don't get it I mean even if they have a taste of it I remember my wife had an extreme panic attack she didn't know what was going on one night after we had dinner and she had a margarita and I think just too much she had like two and she didn't realize how much alcohol and gave her an extreme panic attack. She couldn't breathe, was freaking out. Thought she was having a heart attack. And I remind her, like that five minutes you went through that, imagine going through that for hours and off and on for weeks and months and years. I don't know, sometimes it's just hard for people to understand it is what it is. Uh, but I don't know, I don't got much right now. Just, I'm trying to stay focused, stay positive, and keep my mind clear today. Hopefully I can get through the day without any uh, anxiety. Like I said, I had some this morning. I felt like crap. I felt disoriented. But I'm alright right now. Uh, since that showering helps huge. Uh, getting the shower, eating breakfast. I took supplements. I don't really know how much they're doing for me, to be honest. Uh, magnesium, vitamin D. I've been using the magnesium lotion and pills. Uh, I use the lotion usually more at bedtime, put it on my feet. Maybe it does help calm me down. I'm really not sure. It's so hard to tell what things are actually doing for us when we're going through this. It's really hard. Like I said, I'll get back later, guys, and I'll try to just condense this into one video, let you know how things went throughout my day, and later on tonight when I go to this group, it's like it's, every day's an adventure, you never know what you're going to get, and I'm just thankful right now, even though it's not been perfect, it's been smoother than expected, as I said before. 
I just hope, my biggest hope, my biggest prayer is that it continues to go this smooth throughout the rest of the taper. And maybe the hardcore symptoms can be avoided more this time than last time because I'm coming off a of 0.5 instead of 3 milligrams. But I'm afraid that isn't going to be the case. But we'll see. I don't know. There is one more thing. There's one thing I wanted to touch on, which is diet. And I went to see a homeopathic doctor finally a few months back. And he told me he believed if I could heal my gut, it would heal my brain. So he actually sold me cabbage. It was funny. I went to a doctor and I got sold cabbage. Fermented cabbage. This lady had made it. It was some big process that took her many hours. I honestly believe it helped really heal my stomach at that time. Ran out of it. Got a hold of the lady. She wasn't willing to make anymore. She just made it for her son who had stomach issues. So I bought some in the store. And I thought it was doing pretty well for me too. You know, and uh, just recently I started having really bad digestive issues again. Know, stabbing and digestion and sometimes even regurgitation again like in the past it was really hard for me to hold food down for many years I've heard I've had scopes done colonoscopies you know was on proton pump inhibitors for years Prilosec Nexium and I found out how bad that stuff could mess you up too got off that try to keep a strict diet uh, it's really hard the homeopath told me take the cabbage try to eat nothing but white fish for your meats get a cheese cottage cheese in each meal a vegetable in each meal full protein meals only eat three meals a day don't snack in between meals these things are really hard to do but I do believe they're beneficial and I believe it's possible that the foods we're eating and putting in our bodies are could be one of the big things that causes some of our absolute worst symptoms. I do believe this. Because I didn't tell anybody, but whenever this stuff came back and started hitting me real hard this past time, when I reinstated, I did a huge change with my diet. Uh, I cut out all gluten, I cut out all dairy, and then when I went and did the research, I found out that if you completely cut those things out, the withdrawal can be just as severe as heroin withdrawal. Just as severe as benzo withdrawal. So that is a possibility. So this time around, I'm sticking to a strict diet. No artificial sweeteners whatsoever. Uh, eating things that I know my body can digest better. I know I'm not always perfect. You know, sometimes you're out and you just have to eat. You gotta eat whatever you can find that's maybe the healthiest thing for you and it's not always the case but I'm gonna try and get back on the strict eating plan again and hopefully that's gonna help me and I'm gonna be very careful about changing too many things I want to keep things consistent I'm sure everybody knows to we are supposed to be careful with supplements you know I don't mess with caffeine sorry guys I had an unexpected phone call that I had to ignore and I cut the video out but anyway, just like I was saying, diet's important. What we put in our bodies is important. Uh, if you're going to try supplements, be careful. It's all. Because they can help some people. That's the thing. We're all different. Our bodies are so different. Our brains are so different. That's why some people take longer to heal than others. But I do believe we're all going to heal. And I do believe our effort as well is big. What we're putting in our body is huge. Uh, exercise, huge. Forcing ourselves to do things. You know, I'm going to go to the gym later tonight, hopefully. I have them on in two days because I've had back problems again, which I believe is another symptom. I wasn't having back problems or these digestive issues while I was at back on a full steady dose. As soon as I started tapering, started getting injured more easily. Back pain digestive problems again just is what it is we got to ride it out we got to try and work around these things we got to try and you know pivot juke them trick them like i said i don't know that's it guys uh 
hoping everyone has a good day. I don't know when this video is going to reach you. Probably sometime late tonight. Pretty sure it's March 22nd. It's 2018. Uh, my mom keeps calling. I got to get back to her. Let her know I'm close. Because the video keeps getting interrupted. But Nothing but love for all you guys. Really hoping the best. And for recovery and healing. And keep the questions coming. Keep sharing the videos. You know, let's help build build a community and I just hope this is going to help someone and I believe it is it's the reason I'm doing it and I'm ready for it I'm ready to keep doing this even through the hell in the future when I'm off the meds and hopefully maybe it'll be different this time like I said before but I'll talk to you guys later okay guys I'm finally home Whew, feels like today's been so long and I've been looking forward to getting this video up I don't want to make this portion too long because I've already recorded a couple portions before it that I'm going to put into all one video. So you guys knew what I was doing earlier. So what have I done since then? I went to the group I was talking about. Everything went smooth there. Went to the gym afterwards. Uh, that went mostly smooth. I started to fall into a depression while I was there for like 15 minutes. And I was with my friend that I mentioned, talked to him about it, you know, I, I was able to get out of my head pretty fast there, and uh, took him home, just hung out there for a little bit, had a protein shake after the workout, uh, dropped him off somewhere, drove home, on the way home I started having uh, really bad anxiety in my jaw, that's why I'm chewing gum now, I chew gum constantly. And it's because one of my worst symptoms is my jaw. I hate it. Whenever my jaw starts to get tense and uncomfortable, I have extremely bad anxiety from it. It's really, really weird. Whenever I start chewing gum, it usually goes away. Well, but I'm home now. It's uh, it's 1.22 a.m. I'm going to try and fall into my routine and try and wind down and relax. I'm not sure if I'm going to start having a indigestion. My stomach feels a little uneasy. A little bothered. Ugh, I ate stuffed shells at the group afterwards. I, I braved it. I know I shouldn't be eating that. It can definitely give me indigestion. just can't wait to be healed. I can't wait till my stomach's better. I'm really sick of my stomach issues because of this too. There's not a ton more that I have to say right now that I didn't already say uh, from the earlier portions of this video. I just want to get this all done and get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Continue to, to give me feedback. I really appreciate it. And this is helpful to me. I'm trying to make it helpful to you. But just as much as I want it to be helpful for you, it helps me to get this stuff out. It's going to help me, I think, to have this stuff on video and out there for people to see uh, two more days two more days till I drop down my next dosage to uh, uh, 0.25 milligram clonopin so I'm a little nervous about it but I'm also hopeful I'm ready to be off I just am I'm, I'm not in a rush because I know the reality of the situation mm. But I don't know, guys. That's it for now. I love you all. Uh, continue to talk to me. Continue to to reach out. You know, uh, ask questions. I'm just, I've been learning a lot. I'm still learning every day. I'm sorry I'm not more upbeat or have more to say right now. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe my mind's a little foggy right now. But talk to you guys next time.